Hello friends and welcome to Chat from the Engineering Desk. Today I'm going to talk about VSDs again and I'm going to be talking about using the anti-condensation heating function in this variable speed drive over here. Now what you would do is if you have a motor such as this which during the off periods you want to keep warm because it lives in a wet environment or very humid environment you can tell this thing to apply current to it when it's not running so I'm going to show you in the parameters quickly where we set that up and then I'm going to demonstrate that running over here and I'll show you the, uh, the current flow through the windings so let's have a look at the settings on the uh, software quickly Over on the software, there's a couple of things we need to do. I need to tell it this motor pre-current magnitude. Now that's a percentage of motor rated current, which I've, in the case of this motor, set to 1.03 amps. Okay, so that's your motor details. Now what I've done is on this drive, I've set it to keypad mode. So you can stop and start it from the keypad. Now what the drive does is when it sees a value in here bigger than zero, it knows that when all zero frequencies turned on, it needs to apply current to the motor. So let's turn the tone tester on like that. Okay. And turn hold zero frequency on. Like so. So currently we have got Sorry, I'm having trouble. Please try in a little while. Alexa, stop it. Sorry about that. So all zero frequencies on and you can see here on the screen it's saying heat. So when I turn that off you can see heat goes away and this current goes to zero. And turn heat on again and the current comes up. Now when I start the drive There you can see the motor running and you can see current going to the motor. Now this motor is wired in delta. So that's going to ramp down again. And you're going to see it go to heat. And also, when I, if I try and spin it here, if I bring up that current, oh, the shaft will become hard to turn. Why don't we try that? So let's go back here. Set that to 50%. Come on. Now the software is frozen again. Never mind. 6.052. Let's go into the parameters. All. Go to menu 6. Um. Scroll up to 5.2. So you can do everything that you you can see on the um, software on the keypad as well. Yeah, I can actually hear it coming up. 
and yeah the shaft has become hard to turn And there it goes. Like so. Um, let's see, we might actually be able to see DC current flowing. So what I'm going to do is disable the drive. It's a soft to disable on 615. Let's go there and zero that. Yeah, there you go. So that's DC current that's being applied to the motor windings at this stage. Obviously you don't want AC because then the motor is going to spin. So that's DC current that you see there. So if you wanted to use the drive for something else like a heater controller, you could actually do that by connecting it up as a load, setting this thing to hold zero speed, and then writing an analog input to the hold zero speed to uh, 652. And you would be able to control the current to your heater. You could write to that value that would be quite neat why don't we do that now that I've got your attention let's find two pieces of wire install them and demonstrate it so what you do you take this cover over here and you have a look uh, terminal 2 is reference 1 input okay so we need 0 volts which is terminal 1 um, let's fire that up oh boy we need a power supply has mains on it. I have got one, unfortunately. So, what we do is just stick a wire in there. And we're going to do this all on the keypad. Well, not everybody has a programming cable, not everybody has a laptop, not everybody has a software. The software is free to download from Control Techniques. Is website you just create a profile for yourself um, you just uh, download and then use all for free so let's get my power supply set to 0 volts okay connect these up here So now, if I go to analog input 1, sorry about that, um, there we go. So that's a 0 to 10 volts. Right. And I can prove that by bringing this device. Now that's displayed as a percentage. So if I go up to 5 volts, there you go. Those two match up. So that's what I'm talking about over there. Okay. So now we want to assign that value coming in to 652 so what you want to do is go to that assignment so if I go over here uh, and log in 
Super Dawn Destination 710 136 So I want to change that to 752 652 So I'm going to do that and uh, then um, exit that. Got a prim to zero and uh, do a save. Go to menu six. Yeah, how about that? So now, uh, if we go to 15 and enable the drive and the soft to enable, I should have control of that current with my 0 to 10 volt signal. Indeed I do. We saw it here. And we can actually see that on the drive by going over here to menu 4 now this doesn't have the resolution at low currents but yeah those two pretty much tally up And there our drive runs. And escape button toggles between percentage load and hertz. So it's going to slow down. I'm going to set it to 50%. And indeed. We have some current. When I turn the 10 volt signal down, the heating goes away. So I could um, connect a resistive load or a magnet, an inductive load up to this, and I could use it as a current controller. Um, I want to do that at work because I have an eddy current dyno that I need to bring, put back into service, recommission. And in order to control the current through its coil on the magnet, I need a power supply and I need to control the current. And one of these handy dandy devices is going to be just perfect for that. So there we have it. That's motor heat, the use of the motor standby heating function or anti-condensation heating function in this variable speed drive. But you can use it for other purposes as well, as I've demonstrated here by writing to that set point with an analog input. And I've, I've demonstrated here how to reassign an analog input as well, which is quite neat. And I think that's going to conclude it for this little demonstration. We've been rambling on long enough. You've seen a little bit of the software. You've seen me work on the keypad with the runner motor. And you've seen how the um, DC current flows on the output when it's in the heat mode. Like this. And one can actually hear it in the motor if I turn it up all the way to 10 you can probably hear it on the microphone so there you go all right we're done with the subject thanks for being here thanks for watching thanks for joining today have a awesome day further take care ladies and gentlemen and I'll see you here back shortly for more cheers